After so much research, so many experiments, different ACs, calculating gearing, motors, sating, and so many failures, I finally find two best options that work reliably and are easy to configure for electric portable vehicles. Yes, it took years to get here, and we should all thank Benjamin Vedder for investing over three years of his life unstoppable day-by-day -day research and testing to finally create and share the VESC project that is uh, revolutionizing the portable electric vehicles industry and other companies that are actually creating new products based on Benjamin research. I switched all my DIY boards to VESC AC purchased from Inertions, but I recently came across Fly VESC 6.6 .6 AC version and this speed controller looks so much stronger with 8 gauge wires and so much bigger heatsink with 100 amps continuous discharge, 20 amps higher than VESC 6.6 .6, and with 400 amps burst discharge per each speed controller, which is combined to a total of 800 amps, and it's only $269. Let's uh, hook it up, set it, and see how this uh, Fly ASC does. Let's talk now about the AC. I did not place the cover over so you guys can see it. Uh, this fly vest 6.6 .6 works fantastically well. The acceleration is uh, even for each motor. I set to 50 amps per motor, but I did try with 80 amps and it's a beast. Uh, too much power and uh, it handles really well. Uh, I'm not sure if you uh, need to set up to 100 amps, it will definitely work fine, but for this board it will be just an overkill. I made this board for range, not for speed. I think 7 inch wheels will work just a bit better. I will get more range, higher torque, more clearance when turning, and uh, shred some weight. I really like how this setup uh, turned out. The board is super light, hits 28 miles per hour really fast. You get a bit of wobble between 28 uh, to 30 miles an hour. But I tightened the, the bushings and I think if I place them with the harder rubber and I do a bit of practice, this problem would be removed. Compared to La Croix, a little bit different construction, but uh, it's much, much wider. Being 6 foot 3, uh, I have a much wider stand. Uh, there is one inch and a half between the wheel and my foot uh, when it's fully turned left or right and I don't get any wheel bite. So this board was made uh, primarily with all the flying parts that I had uh, sitting around my home. I want to set this board for maximum 23, maybe 25 miles per hour to get more range. Right now I get uh, around 10 miles per charge with 12 S2P and I'll make an additional pack that will be mounted on the top of the board to extend the range to around 20 miles if I need to cover, let's say, a longer range. These settings I feel is the same as Foxbox. The only difference is it's less noise. When you go like past 25, you can uh, hear a little bit of noise, but it's so much less than Foxbox. I think definitely much much cheaper and it's definitely better. And uh, look at the construction. It's so uh, so beefy, so um, definitely can withstand uh, high loads. So I'm sure if I put 100 amps per, amp per motor and bigger battery, it will do just great. Um, but 30 miles, so far no issues, and I will keep riding. And hopefully next two weeks, maybe close to a month, I can put a couple hundred miles and get back to you guys with updates.